So, Mom right. Cave, thank you for uh, coming to this bar with us. Really appreciate it. I hope we give you a good time. We intend to give you a good time. Another round, please. Thank you. Who's that hot guy over there? Is that oh, Caleb? Okay. Caleb yeah. Achonk is here? He decided he needs a job. Apparently. I got a job for him. <laughs> Ooh! Gross. Okay, well, what made you decide to start your channel? I started my channel because I was playing the 100 Baby Challenge. And... I was in a Facebook group. Well, no, let me back up. I started my channel because I wanted to share speed builds. I thought it was really cool. I had I was watching some other uh, YouTubers and thought, mm, oh, that looks like fun. Maybe I'll try and do that too. But I thought it was too old. And I didn't think anybody would watch. And so I started my channel um, to do speed builds. I posted one speed build, didn't really do much. It was okay. And then I started doing a 100 baby challenge. And as that went along, just on my own, I was part of 100 Baby Challenge Facebook group. And then as I went along and kind of got to the point where I wanted to start showing who M was going to marry, I want I figured, what did I want to, I want to do it in a creative way. And so doing it in a creative way, I thought I'll, I'll make one of those little sim stories that people do on YouTube and I'll just post it for, you know, the people in the group, it'll be easy to access. And then um, I sat down and thought, how, how do I make this into a story? And I started thinking about why in the world would somebody have a hundred children? Um, and it had to be a little bit more than it was just a challenge. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe she's cursed. And then if she's cursed, why would she be cursed? And so I sat down, I just wrote this whole story and it just opened up and I started to film and I filmed the first episode. And at the same time had uh, started listening to some music that sparked some of the, um, the first scenes and just the whole thing unfolded. And I started episode one and um, actually the entire series when it was first written was 20 was, I think it was 23 episodes, which I ended up with. And, but it was totally different. Like the whole, there's so much I cut out of it. So much I cut out of it and changed uh, it. So as the story went, it changed, but that's why I started my channel and why I started, uh, just where I'm at today. And I would say that I, um, I really didn't get going until I got on Twitter and met all of you guys. That's when it just really uh, blew up, which, well, I wouldn't say it blew up. I got, you know, 200, but which is nice. Um, but that's when it really started going and, uh, here I am in the bar. Have you ever thought about doing a story about maybe M's parents. I think that I hadn't. And their love story. Like a, a love story about um, how they met and got together and maybe their something like that. Well, actually, I have thought about it. So I've, I've thought about doing uh, kind of a my story kind of thing with the other characters. So like, like Jackson's backstory um, and why he ended up being the douche that he is yeah um i then i thought about doing some of the other like roger's story and um really uh, i want to do something with a coney so i thought about doing his story but i think i'm going to do a bachelor thing with him but yeah i thought about doing that uh with with uh sam and and blake because oh they're so cute they're just so sweet and so cute and i i think that maybe that might make a good story that people would really you know, love to watch. Oh my gosh, they're such an adorable. They are couple. adorable couple. I mean, and I think that from what you said, you know, they just were tra so attracted to each other. You know, I just think that I don't know. Yeah, immediately, immediately attracted to each other. First, second interaction, yeah. second interaction, moved him in, into a house together, try for baby in a closet because that's what my sims do. <laughs> I can't count how many times Ambrosia's been pregnant. <laughs> Since I started filming this oh, next no, series, no, no, no. I, I had to make them all not be able to get each other pregnant because somebody kept getting her pregnant in the closet. So, yeah, nonstop. Why do they like the closets so much in your game? Dumpsters are fun. I wonder if Caleb's busy. Uh, well, you yeah, know, we can find out in just a minute. We'll show you how to do that if you'd like, you know. Oh, that'd be great. Bartender. Thanks. Bartender. Come here. My friend wants to say hi. Are you single? What's your name? The Chonk. Caleb, was it? 
Hi, Vachonk. The pleasure's all mine. Oh, it will be. Tell me the meaning behind your last name. What is your favorite part of being a YouTuber and being on Twitter, doing all this, your machinimas and all that? My favorite, there's a couple things. So the first, first and foremost is um, it's so much more fun. Like the game is so much more fun. I love the game. I mean, I might play other games in the future, just, just for shits and gigs, but the game is, is so much more fun with people, you know, friends and that we've built this cool little squad community, which is super fun just to, just to be silly and have fun. And who doesn't need that right now, especially this year. Um, the other part I love about it is I, I do the stories and I get so into staying up till like 3 a.m. getting it done because I want to see the story unfolded from that's in my brain. So for me, it's like watching my own stories in front of me, which is really cool. So I, I love doing that. I love making the machinimas because it's this um, just cool outlet that I didn't know I needed for the storytelling brain that I have. Like I just, I've always been the story, storyteller, had this huge wild imagination. And this gives me that opportunity to, to express it. And um, all of the stories that develop in my head when I play The Sims, I'm able to make them come alive on the screen. And I not only love watching it, but I love that, you know, other people watch it. And the fact that what between 160 and 200 something people, six, I was like up over 600 now for the first episode that are actually watching it just blows me away. So that's what kind of um, really makes it the most fun. And I would say the most, most fun is doing this in community. I, I just, I'm really enjoying, especially doing the lives and, and the premieres and just enjoying it with all of you. Uh, did you write stories before this? I mean, like on paper or, you know, computer or whatever, did you like write books or short stories? I've, I've not been a short storyteller, but I've written a lot. I wrote a lot of poetry. So I wrote a lot of poetry in my twenties. I used to express myself through poetry all the time. Um, and it was how I kind of, uh, expressed just some hard mental health issues I was having. And so I took to writing, um, and journaling for that. And as far as storytelling, I think when I was younger in my teens, I did that a lot, but I had kind of stopped doing that. Um, but writing, I love writing and I've always wanted to write. I've always wanted to write a book. Um, I think the books that I've thought about writing, though were more along the lines of, you know, helping people manage grief and, and things like that. But I had never thought about writing fiction, but I found that this is for me, this is much more fulfilling than writing a book because it actually is visual. And I'm such a visual person that it's just, it's better. And that's also why I really like the, the text thing. Cause for me, it's a lot like a, like I'm writing a visual storybook, which is what it feels like to me. Um, and, and I'm just, I'm really loving it. And I'm looking forward to just continuing to, to twist things and, and have just some different vibes for the different, uh, stories that I have coming up. Foxberry is a bridge to uh, season two of the curse and a, a, a new uh, story or a new series that'll be coming out next year. And um, so I'm kind of excited, but I'm enjoying it so much. I don't know. I don't know how many of the series it's going to be. It might be kind of a long series. We'll see. I'm really having fun. Well, we're here for another uh, episode or another season of the curse. I mean, definitely. I mean, I got her started on it because I liked it so much. And I mean, she loves it now. I have a question for you. Okay. Okay. Sure. Faith, how did, how did you stumble on the curse? <laughs> um, I've played the Sims since 1999 and I started watching the YouTube videos cause she was watching them and I don't know, it just came up on my feed one day and I started watching it. And I was like, holy crud, this is great. I was like, Lilith, you have got to watch this. And uh, she said, I don't know. I, you know, I, I'm not really into those kinds of stories. And I said, well, please just, just give it a chance. And so she's sitting here, you know, she's doing something else. She's on Twitter or whatever. And I'm watching this and with her. And I said, please just pay attention. She starts looking at it. She's like, 
wow, this is really good. Let's watch another episode. And that's how she got started. Then we looked you up on Twitter. So I was like, I wonder if she has Twitter. Yeah, I wonder if she's on Twitter. And then we're like, hey, hey, Mom Cave, we love your series. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you slid into that DM real fast. You're like, hey, we want to do that challenge because I said that tongue in cheek, right? I was, it was, it was after I filmed and I was cracking up because you totally should have done this in episode 12. You would have been garbage afterwards. Um, episode when I when I when I filmed episode 12 and I watched it back how many times I say special and um amazing in that episode so I posted that on Twitter you know there should be a drinking game I didn't think people would actually do it <laughs> and then you got on and those reactions I live for the reaction videos those are those are life I love them they're so fun hey mom cave look he's walking out now we can see why he's called the chonk it's because I look have at such that cake. I'm, cake. I need another shot. Hold on. Okay, I'm ready. Oh. Come to mama. Wait, hold on. We're not done interviewing you. Come back hey, here. Kayla. Let's just follow her. My name is Mom Kate. Okay. Hey, Caleb. Grab the microphone. You busy? <laughs> just don't don't mind us. We're just gonna hang. You ever this heard of a dirty flirty? In front of your face. Just just do, just do keep you know. doing what you're doing. You. Do you have any advice for the smaller creators, like how to get started or anything like that? You know, if you're not too busy in that dumpster. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, Caleb. Let me answer that question and then I'll finish what I was doing. All right. I would say that, uh, you know, no, no dumpster pun, but just do it. Um, just just get started, do what you need. You, you don't need to buy all the equipment. You don't need to spend hundreds of dollars. You need a camera, you need some screen recorder, software that you can get for free. You need um, a relatively decent microphone if you can, but just do it and don't try not to worry about whether you're another, this YouTube, big YouTuber or that big YouTuber. I think the best advice that I saw was was somebody saying, you know, we don't need another Claire Chabon. We don't need another um, oh, Deligracy. We already have them. We have them on YouTube. We need a you. And whether whether you're coming and 10 people watch you or 10,000 people watch you, we still need you. Those 10 people still need you. So just do it because you enjoy it. Figure out your why, why are you doing it? And then write it down somewhere and keep it in front of you. So you have to, so you're reminded, like I was this morning, you know, looking at all the numbers thinking, ah, you know, I, this is horrible. Um, you're reminded why you do it. Remind yourself of the why and just get started. Don't worry about what it looks like. Get started, post something. You'll get better as you go. If you watch, you know, watch my first couple of posts, they're garbage, <laughs> you know, but I still have them on there because I did it. You know, I was really proud of myself. I didn't think that here I'd be less than a year later and I have completed an entire series. I'm into my second series and am writing three more series. You know, who, who knew it would get to that point? And like, I never thought I'd be in the dumpster with Caleb Vachonk, which by the way, could you get that microphone out, out of my face for one second? Because I'm busy. Sorry. Oops, my bad. You do you, boo-boo. No, I'm doing Caleb right now. So, Mom Cave, now that you've uh, learned how to dive for thrills, let's tell you how to dive for deals. Awesome. Hold on one second. Oh, hey, hey, Caleb, call me. So what have you found since you've been dumpster diving? Anything good? Well, I found something really good in, in the last dumpster, but let's go ahead and look at this dumpster oh. and see what I can find. So tell us a little bit about the challenge that you made. The land grab challenge. So the, the land grab challenge is another one of my wild ideas. Um, and I was thinking of what would be a fun challenge. I wanted a, I wanted a building challenge and I couldn't find one that I liked. Um, there really aren't many on there that I could find that I like. There were a couple of house slipper, just ones that were really old and, and I don't know, I didn't really like them for myself. And then the other thing was, you know, is there a challenge to take down the land grabs? Cause nobody likes the land grabs. And I actually kind of got sparked when I was watching, uh, uh Kelsey, is it uh, Peachy K on, um, Buzzfeed who actually started me playing the Sims. So that's, that's another story. Um, but I was watching that and, you know, she's always talking about Nancy land grab, you know, showing up and, and getting in, in her shots. So I thought, well, nobody likes the land grab. So how do we take the land grabs down? 
And so I thought, uh, well, how about a building since they own everything, like a building challenge, a land grab challenge. I wonder if there's one out there. Surely somebody's written one. So I looked high and low. I scoured the internet. I found nothing and nothing, nothing that, that married the two or even that was, you know, a land grab um, connected. And so I wrote the challenge. I thought, okay, what would it be like? So I sat again for like a week or two and I sat and I just banged out the challenge. Um, and I'm, uh, I've never played it all the way through. So I'm doing that in my lives. And then I will, when I switch over to Twitch, I'll move it over to that, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, and terrified. Cause I don't know, Twitch intimidates me a little bit, but, and then I'm really excited if, uh, you, you, ladies do the challenge too, because I'm curious to see if it's even doable or if you're going to go through and be like, this is really confusing. What, what are you talking about? So I I'm looking forward to the feedback. We plan on it. We plan to start it after Christmas. Awesome. Yeah. So that's why, you know, I, I figured, you know, if you want something done, do it yourself if it's not already done. So I wrote the land grab challenge and I started playing it. So I started playing it with a SIM uh, that I made who ended up married with to Don Lothario of all people. Um, they have four boys and I kind of stopped doing that and started, started playing the one her baby, baby challenge. Um, and then I started again uh, with Adriana cause I had my channel at that point and I thought, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and just do a let's play. So I recorded, actually, I think I recorded three episodes, recorded for like three hours one day doing it. And I only edited one cause I hate, hate editing let's plays. That's why I'm doing them live. Cause I don't have to edit them and people can watch them or not. Don't care. And, um, <laughs> yeah. And I, I just, I hate, I don't know what it is about let's plays. I, I hate editing them. I just do. So, um, and it's more fun to play it live anyways, than sit here and talk to myself for three hours, but that's why. So on your, on your land grab challenge, do you let them have free will? Yes. In my game, they do. I, I uh, because I think it's going to make for some interesting uh, shenanigans with my Sims. Uh, <laughs> choices, interesting, <laughs> interesting choices, uh, especially if there are closets, bushes, or leaf piles around. Because my Sims like to get into those with each other when I'm not looking, and they don't really need much friendship or anything. They're just there. They are. So we'll see. And we we did we not see that in the last episode with. Uh, Definitely. Do you have Wicked Whims on your computer? Um, I put Wicked Whims in sometimes if I need certain aspects of it, but then I take it out just because first and foremost, the sweat irritates me. It's, it's so annoying. I hate it. I, I hate it. Um, the other piece is, I don't know, I, um, that level of realism for me isn't com completely welcome in my game. I guess it's just, it's fine. I don't mind. Obviously I love Jen's channel and Daisy's channel. And so it's not that I'm completely opposed to watching some of it, but, um, it, I feel like it gets in the way and it's kind of a little bit different than the, the types of scenes that I film, but there are some, some scenes that I do, uh, find value in doing that. Like the one I'm getting ready to film, um, in the hot tub. Right. I, I have the settings as um, down as you could possibly have them. Um, I'd, I'd have them where they don't automatically get naked because there's certain things on my Sims I just don't want to look at. Um, and <laughs> real life, or I just don't want to see it. It's, it's just not pretty. The, I, so I have a funny story about Wicked Whims. Can I share that? So the first time I ever put Wicked Whims in my game, I thought, okay, I, I know there are some poses on here that are better than the animations I have or the animations that are better than the ones I have that I can use. And also a couple of animations I needed where I didn't want clothes on them. So, or the, the pixel thingies. And so I, um, <laughs> I put it in my game and thought, okay, I'm just going to give it a try. And I put it in my game. And the first time my Sim got naked, I literally audibly screamed. It shocked me so much. I screamed and I closed my laptop. I went, ah! <laughs> have you seen that? Have you seen that scene in Elf where he covers his eyes and runs into the, into the locker? That was basically yeah. me the first time I did Wicked Whims. And I promise I'm not a prude, but I just, I, that, that kind of stuff, I just, you know, I, I view sparingly. That's just kind of, I don't know. Well, what about what you just did with Caleb the Chonk? I mean, how do you explain that, Mom Cave? It's the alcohol. Ah, oh my gosh, guys.
Speaking of Nancy Landgrab. Uh oh. Isn't that her? Like right over there. Don't look. Don't look. Faith. Don't look. Faith. Oh my God. Hey, Nancy. Faith. Oh my God. That bitch. Where is she? Wait. wait, wait. Mom Cave. Oh my God. Come on, you're I'm going to call the just, manager just on you. Out. Just chill out, okay? We don't need confrontation. Wait, you know what, what are you talking off. about? Get over here. Okay. This is Let's Nancy fight. Langrath. Let's go. And I'm going to take this bitch See? down. I'm going to do the okay. white boy thing and hey, shove you on my shoulder and I'm going to push you. Ow, you you knocked me over. I'm about to beat your ass. Come over here. I'm going to do Get it again. Over here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah? Oh, oh yeah? Ow, oh yeah, you want to come at me like that? Do you know who you're messing with? This is the mom cave, okay? The mom cave ow, doesn't ooh, play. Ow, ow, I will throw ow, my chocolate ow, ow, upside ow, your what, ugly what, ass head. How many did you okay? do that? Ow. Get over here. Ah, what, you're breaking the laws of physics. Be, you I, can't do I, that. Oh, oh my okay, god. Stop. Ow. Okay, stop. Ow, that's my, I'm going to snap that weave. Oh, All right, you bald okay. bitch. Come here. Come here. Get over ow. here. Ow. Yeah, ow. that's what I'm I thought. That's what I thought. Like those inflatable things. Ow. the mom cave. Ow. Ow, you just ow. got to knock the. Go talk to the manager. Out. So, Mom Cave, now that you've beat Nancy's ass, mm-hmm. that's right. Final, final thoughts. That's right. Final thoughts. I would say that you know, as we come to the end of this year, it has been there. There's been a lot of loss. There's been a lot of you know, like you know, Nancy's lost to me right now, and I beat her ass with my flip flop. There's been a lot of loss, but there's, there's been a lot of good too. And so I really, really want to encourage everybody to, to just stop and get all of the garbage out of your head and think about one to three things that you're grateful for and try and focus on those. And I I think that that's really important because there's so much negativity. And then what, what I would say, I, I think specifically to the Sims community is, you know, um, I, I, I love us. I think that we're like this family that's constantly, you know, loving each other and that we're bickering and that we're loving each other. I, I wonder if next year our goal can be to love each other more than we bicker about things. Like if, if you like Sims one, two, three, four, you're hoping for five, whatever you hate the Sims, it's fine. But, but th- th- think about, think about what you say before you say it and, and ask yourself whether it's, is it going to build up the community and others or or is it for the purpose of tearing down so that you feel better? I think that those are important questions to really reflect on. Um, and, and the other thing is, is to don't be afraid to launch out. So next year I'm going to get on Twitch, which I've been terrified of, to be honest. My son's been trying to get me on Twitch since I started my channel, but I'm going to get on Twitch because just like this last year, when I was afraid to get on YouTube, look at what I would have missed out on if I hadn't done it. So think about that. Ask yourself the question, what, what might I miss out on if I don't do this? And what might I gain if I try? And so, so those are good questions to ask ourselves. And um, lastly, I think, you know, going into 2021, I think we're really all like really excited to get out of 2020. I know I am. And 2021 also is going to have its own joys and it's going to have its own um challenges. And I think that we can just remain open to that with a, an open heart. And um, when all else fails, get that chocolate out. All right, Mom Cave, thank you so much for letting us interview you today. And I think that you might need to go take a shower because that, that was a little much. And you might want to uh, go get that uh, eye checked out because Nancy got you pretty good there. Yeah, I, I, I ain't worried about her. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the Sims community, we need to be nice to each other, but nobody needs to be nice to Nancy Landgrab, okay? And I think I need to take an Uber home. So you can find the rules of the challenge on my website, which is themomcave50.com. Um, now, in order to get there, you ha- make sure you put the www dot in front of it. For some reason, it, it um, doesn't go otherwise, but it's themomcave50.com. And you'll see a link on there for the Landgrab challenge. Go ahead and go there. And you'll have all of the rules and everything to play the, the challenge. If you play the land grab challenge, I, I let me know. Let me know either on Twitter. I'm at um, momcave1 on Twitter. Or uh, just, you know, make comments in my Let's Plays on my channel. And uh, I'd really like to know if you're playing and, and how it's going for you. And any suggestions you have that I could change it. Because it's definitely work in progress. I'm a talking oh. I'm a talking Caleb. <laughs> I'm getting bechonked. <laughs> Hold on, I'm dying. I'm leaking. 
I want to fight Nancy Landgrab. I want to fight Nancy Landgrab and I want to beat her up. 